What's going on YouTube? My name is Blake and today I have another special After Effects tutorial for you guys. And it's been a while since I brought out a tutorial, but I really wanted to bring you guys a new one today. And so this is actually not going to be on effect or anything, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to render faster in After Effects and just to get the best performance settings. And so I'm going to have a clip here from Dareserver. Shout out to him if he's watching this video. <laughs> But um, we can see here that if we scroll through this, that um, it just kind of scrubs through it. And most of you guys probably know that we can RAM preview. And if we click that button right there and RAM preview it, we can see that it is going to um, pretty much render it out completely. And so we can watch it back in real time. And what this is actually doing behind the scenes of After Effects is... It is actually storing all of the screen arrow space in here. It is actually storing this in a folder. And so that is what's going to be slowing down somewhat. And there's also a couple of optimal performance settings I'll be showing you guys um, that I would recommend today. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to delete the cache, the files that this makes. And so um, what we need to do is come up here, go to Edit, Preferences, and Media and Disk Cache. And... Um, the first thing I'm going to recommend is checking Enable Disk Cache and just finding a folder somewhere on your computer, preferably a second hard drive if you have it. And I'm not honestly 100% sure what this does, but it is going to make your performance faster. And I did some research on this before I started this tutorial, and so uh, most of the forums and stuff recommended having this checked, and so um, definitely check that. And the maximum disk cache size I honestly don't think it really matters, but I just set mine at about 2,000. I think that is what I read on a forum or something. But uh, um, if we look down here, we can see that we have conformed media cache. And we have the database and the cache folders right here. The, they should be the same. And we have a button here that says clean database and cache. And we can click this, but it's actually not going to do much in terms of getting rid of this. It is going to say it cleaned it up a little bit. And I'm not 100% sure what it does once again, but I'll be showing you guys how to actually clear it. So let's go ahead and clean it. And it's going to say that it cleaned our media cache. Um, but what we really need to do is navigate to this folder right here um, under the cache and database. And I've already nav navigated to it here. Um, you can see that it matches up roaming at Adobe Common right there. And so we have the media cache files right here. And... Um, before I go any further, a lot of you guys are probably looking for this app data folder. And um, what we need to do to get access to that is just go to Start, Control Panel, um, System, and Security. Or actually, it's going to be right here. I already opened it up. It's going to be Control Panel, Appearance, and Personalization. And then right here under Folder Options, we're going to hit Show Hidden Files and Folders. And make sure that this is checked right here. Show hidden files, folders, and drives. Hit apply, and then um, just X out of your X out of your Explorer, and then open it back up, and your app data folder should be there. Um, if we go back, you can see that it's kind of hidden, and so um, it shows you that it's not really supposed to be there. But if we click on it, we can actually get, gain access to it. And so just navigate to Adobe Common, and then um, let's go ahead and see how much space this is actually taking up. If we right click on it, it says it is 2.73 gigabytes, which is actually a lot just in terms of um, just cache files. That is a ton. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. Just hold down shift and highlight them all. Hit delete on your keyboard. And we can see right there 277 items. And so that probably helped us out a lot right there. Just hit OK. And so uh, make sure that you actually create that folder as well. As you can see, I just hit OK and it says the disk cache folder doesn't exist so that the caching will be disabled. And so um, make sure if you go back into Edit Preferences, make sure that you actually create this file or this folder right here before you enable it and then you can navigate to it. And so um, another thing that I want to recommend is come down here to Memory and Multiprocessing. And you guys can see right here I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have a custom PC and it is really awesome, but most of you guys are probably going to average around 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM. 
And if you have less than that, that's fine, but uh, it's just gonna, the more RAM you have, the faster it's gonna render overall. And so we can see, these are my settings, three gigabytes of RAM, RAM reserved for other applications. And make sure, I'll repeat, make sure that you have re render multiple frames simultaneously. Make sure you have that checked. That is one of the biggest things that is gonna make it render faster. And um, I have zero CPUs reserved for the applications and about 1.5 gigabytes of um, RAM for background CPU. And I would recommend at least going about one gigabyte for that. Since I have so much gigabytes of RAM, I just set it to about one. And so uh, we can go ahead and hit OK once again. And um, another thing I want to recommend that many of you guys don't know about is if we come over here to edit preferences, we can see that these are all the um, actual files we have. These are actually all the preferences we have. And so, uh, all right, sorry about that. But yeah, we need to hold down shift on our keyboard, go to edit preferences, and then just hit any of those. And if we see now, we actually have an extra tab called secret. And um, I would recommend checking both of these. Uh, honestly, not 100% sure what these do again, but I would recommend checking them and purge every two frames. That's just another setting that I've kind of messed around with and that seems to work the best best and so uh, I would go with two frames for that and so uh, guys that's pretty much all I have I'll go through my settings one more time media and disk cache make sure that's checked and make sure you clean out your database and cache and then your memory and multi-processing there's my settings once again copy those down or um, you might need to adjust these based on your own personal amount of RAM and stuff and so uh, definitely stick with at least a gigabyte of background CPU and then the secret just make sure you have both of those checked and purge every two frames and so guys that's pretty much all I have and so I really hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure you clean out your cache and database once every month or so it's just gonna um, help you improve your performance and speed in After Effects and so once again, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you want a version of this for Sony Vegas, and I'll go over my settings and performance tips for Sony Vegas, then leave a comment below. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Zebo, and I will see you next time.